James Fursillo, the Toronto Police Constable, who is charged with second degree murder in the streetcar shooting of Sami Yatim, took the witness stand in his own defense today um, and began what will probably be the first of several days in the witness box. Uh, it was kind of a curious start. Uh, his lawyer, Peter Browdy, began by asking him, you know, on July 26, 27th, 2013, you shot and killed Sami Yatim. Yes, I did. Uh, did you want to shoot Mr. Yatim? I never wanted to shoot anyone, said uh, Constable Fursillo. Why did you fire the first three shots? I fired them because I believed uh, Mr. Yatim was coming off the streetcar to attack me. Why did you fire the second series of shots? These were six shots. And the officer said, because I believed he was trying to get up and continue the attack. And that was that. That was all he, w he asked him about the actual incident. Then uh, the lawyer began asking him about his background, which is actually pretty compelling. Uh, James Fursillo, it sounds like, had a pretty uh, difficult childhood with a father who couldn't cope with the mother's uh, lung cancer diagnosis. Uh, he was 14 when this happened and the, he basically became his mother's caregiver until she died uh, quite a number of years later and put his schooling on hold, etc. So it was pretty interesting, uh, sad. And he also has a degree in psychology from York University, uh, worked as a security guard, a court security officer in a courthouse just like the one behind me at Old City Hall for almost three years before his uh, application to become a Toronto officer was, a, was accepted. And then uh, they played for the jury some of the training videos that are, are shown to uh, officer cadets at both the Ontario Police College and the Toronto Police College and they are remarkable I think for the divide they reveal about the civilian and the police officer. Police officers are taught uh, you know that they must have a will to survive that their their edged weapons such as knives are extraordinarily dangerous that you know, they have to kind of, it's kind of a them and us thing. It, it's really pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Anyway, he'll continue tomorrow.